Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video we're gonna study the volume of a right rectangular prism with fractional edge lengths. By that I mean that these side lengths here are fractions. And the first case we are gonna tackle, so to speak, is where each little cube has the side length of half centimeter or half a unit. Let me show you what I mean. If I take one cube, then this side measures half centimeter, this is half, and this is half centimeter, okay? That's what we're gonna imagine. In reality, this is maybe two centimeters, but we're gonna now pretend this is just half a unit or half a centimeter. Each edge length is half a centimeter. And we're gonna stack those together here so that there's four on the bottom and four on the top layer, like this. Kind of like this, okay? There's four on the bottom and four here. And now if this is half, if this side length is half, then the whole length here is of course one centimeter, right? And this way too, this whole length is one centimeter and the height also is one centimeter. So this here is one centimeter. And uh, so also the, this way is one centimeter and this way is one centimeter. So the whole thing has eight cubes. And the total volume we can calculate by one centimeter times one centimeter times one centimeter, right? So the whole volume is one cubic centimeter. Now, what about one cube here? How much is its volume? If the whole thing is one cubic centimeter and there are eight cubes, then each little cube has the volume of one eighth of a cubic centimeter, right? One cube is one eighth of a cubic centimeter centimeter. But notice, if we take one of those cubes here, find its volume by multiplying the length and the width and the height. If I take one little cube and multiply its length, width and height, I would get half a centimeter times half a centimeter times a half a centimeter. And this also is one eighth of a cubic centimeter. Half times half times half is one eighth. Because you multiply 1 times 1 times 1, and multiply the bottom numbers, 2 times 2 times 2, and then these centimeters here, you get the cubic centimeter. So either way you solve it, you get 1 eighth of a cubic centimeter. My point here in all this actually is to show you that we can indeed multiply the fractions to get the volume, okay? Let's look at another example. This is similar to this one, but we added some more cubes. And let's say this one edge length here is half an inch. Okay, this is half inch, half inch, half inch. So this total here is one and a half inches. Over here, this way is also one and a half inches. And this way is just one inch. Now, I wrote that there's 18 cubes because you can count them. Three this way, three this way makes nine on the bottom layer and two layers deep. So 18 cubes total. Now, we can cal again calculate the total volume one way and then check another way. Total volume calculated one way, because I already solved that one cube this way. One of these cubes has the volume of one eighth of a cubic whatever unit it is. So I know that one cube here has the volume of one eighth of a cubic inch. And there's 18 cubes. So the total volume is 18 times one eighth of a cubic inch. Now this is the same as 18 divided by 8, which is the same as 9 divided by 4, simplifying it, and that's the same as 2 and 1 fourth cubic inches, okay? So that's the total volume of this rectangular prism. Now let's also calculate it by multiplying just the width here and the depth and the height, these three dimensions, okay? If we take those, here is 1 and 1 half inches times one and a one half inches times height one inch. Okay, so to, cal to multiply mixed numbers, you need to change them into fractions. This is three over two times three over two. Times one, which I don't have to write there, and then inches, inches, inches makes cubic inches. And now this is nine, fourths of a cubic inches. Nine fourths, which is the same, same as two and one fourth cubic inches. 
So again, it worked out just fine to just multiply the width and the depth and the height. One more time. Over here, if we now imagine that the edge length of a single cube is one third of a unit, whether it be inch or centimeter or whatever, one third of a unit, and then we will figure out the total volume of this rectangular prism. Now, how many little cubes are there? Three this way, three this way, so nine on the bottom, and three layers high, so 27 cubes in total. Again, the total volume, I can look at this. This here is one unit, one unit, one unit. So the volume of this whole thing is one cubic unit. You can imagine it being cubic centimeters if you prefer. I'm just going to use cubic units for now. And then, therefore, one cube here has to have the volume of 1 27th of a cubic unit, right? But we will also get the same result if we just take one cube and multiply its width and depth and height, right? Because 1 third times 1 third times 1 third is indeed 1 27th. Okay. And all of this was done just to point out to you that if you have a rectangular prism and its dimensions are fractions, then you can still multiply those three dimensions to get the volume, okay? That formula doesn't only work for whole numbers, it also works if these edge lengths here are fractional.